graphing a line given its equation in slope intercept form, integer slope. So my instructions here say to graph the line, they gave me an equation, y equals negative 3x minus 3. So this equation is in slope intercept form, y equals mx plus b is kind of our general form or formula that we write here. Uh, remember, the m represents the slope of the line, okay? The b represents the y-intercept, or where the line crosses the y-axis, okay? That axis right there is the y-axis. So if I look at my line here, the slope, okay, or the m in our general form is the number that's next to the x, that's the negative 3, okay? The y-intercept is the constant term, or the number that doesn't have the x on it. Okay, it's just a number. Uh, so the negative 3 is my y-intercept. So on the y-axis, I go down 1, 2 to negative 3 and put a dot. I know that's where my line is going to cross that axis. Okay, and from there, I'm going to use my slope to get some more points and figure out which direction my line goes. So if you remember, slope is rise over run is our little... Uh, phrase we use to kind of remember this. Okay, the rise means how much do I go in the up and down or the y direction and the run, how much left to right, okay? And I have negative 3 as my slope. Right now, it's not written as a fraction. And slope is a fraction. There's always two numbers. So to write negative 3 as a fraction, I'm just going to put it over 1. So that means from this point, um, I'm going to go down 3 in the up and down direction, okay, and over 1 to the right in the horizontal direction, okay. So down 3 over 1 would put a, another point right there. And I can do this a few more times, down 3 over 1, to give myself several points. And then if I want points over here, I just have to reverse it, both of these. Instead of down 3 over 1, I'm going to go up 3, back 1. You have to reverse it both ways. So up 3, back 1. Up 3, back 1. And I can do this as many times as I want. Up 3, back 1. Up 3, back 1. Till I get enough points that I have a definite line showing up. And that's my graph.